Had this one in the books three years ago in the snow. About to have it again. Hope you're excited. I don't know if I'm. I know why I gave it, but I got a tall can of it. Stay tuned. So I need to find out where he is. Marco! Wow, freaking behind me. Jesus Christ. Stay tuned. Guys, Brew here. Brew, 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 brew. Everyone knows who I am. If you don't like it, you need to just go like the cat just said. Jeez. Uh, from in the ale house. This is a tall can now. Um, I think two and a half years ago. It had to be two and a half years ago. I actually did this in the snow. So if you don't know, I'll put the link down below if I remember. Um, in the ale house, Italian style Pilsner. There's 5%. And then you got Marco Polo. All right. And what do I do when I'm barbecuing? So I might as well just quickly show you what's going on here because you know, I'm I'm all over the map and I'm cooking. So, and this is not on Watch on the Grill. If you're not subscribed to Watch on the Grill, I'll even put the link down there for Watch on the Grill for you guys to get on there because you guys need to be on Watch on the Grill. Napoleon, and then that glass is where it's gonna go. There it is right there. I got some, uh, well, Amber's got some uh, surf and turf up there. But we got some burgers on there. And if you don't know, uh eventually i'm going to get enough burgers where i'm going to be doing a comparison on the griddle stay tuned to that if you're on watson the grill you would love that so i'm going back to the beer because i'm way off topic because i love food too that's why i'm fat right back all right so this can gets like a 3.54 on on tap um it's kind of cool got that label thing uh i couldn't believe i found it again it was two and a half years ago when I found it. It was in a small can. Um, let's get into this. Let's see what I get. And I even know when I gave it. Oh. That was the last lake rice I had. So don't mind that. And I got spillage. All right, guys. I have no idea what happened. Uh, the phone just went everywhere. And now you're looking at me almost pouring it. So we're going to get right back into this. Right back into this pour. Last time I had it was in a small, small can. But that looks crisp, doesn't it? That looks sexy and crispy. Got to get a smell into this. All right. Um, it has that craft smell. Now, I know what it is on untap. It is 3.54 on untap. Now, am I going to... Well, I'm just going to come back here and do this. This is Drew. Going to have a sip for you. It's Marco Polo. That's what it is. Can't wait to have it. Cheers, everyone. It smells good. It smells a little corny. Gotta get into it. Very good. Very good. Actually, a little off, but it's better than nothing. Um, I like it. I enjoy it. I'm going to give it a way better score than what I gave it before. And what I gave it before, well, you're going to have to watch that video. But right now, with this, I give this a 7, 5, out of 10. It has a little bit of that aftertaste, a little bit of that hay. It's, uh, they're trying too hard. But in the, in the Ale House Brewery in Toronto, they're trying something different. You know, I'll give it a 7, 8. 7, 8 it is. That's good scare, uh, score for this. Uh, I realized that, hey, throughout all this, the barbecue, right beside the barbecue, the barbecue was too hot for my phone. So it is what it is. Seven, eight, be kind to your neighbors, try something different, and get yourself a, a Marco Polo once in a while. You won't be disappointed. I tr Trust me. You'll like it. You'll like it. It's not bad. It's, it's just like my lake rice. Cheers, and thank you for all the interruptions, because that's what my channel does. Cheers.